Hello, hello, hello. I am getting ready. We are getting ready to go to the gym and I am opening up my MacBook to see my calendar. So today is Tuesday. Today we're hitting back and bicep, just as I said in my previous video. I'm like tripping right now. So today's back and bicep. I have lat pull downs, four sets of 15. I have seated rows. I have dumbbell lateral raises. I have cable straight arm pull downs, four sets of 20. I have the S bar reverse grip curl, single arm hammer curls. So I basically have one, two, three, four, five, six workouts uh, that I specifically like written down for today. It is currently 7.33. So I came home and I literally just, you know, sat in my bed and chilled for a little bit because I, yesterday, no, it was Sunday. So Sunday is always leg day and my back, I don't know why, but I was doing deadlifts. I was deadlifting a pretty heavy weight, heavy weight than I typically start off with. Uh, and I and I think in one of those, I, I was doing the sumo, sumo deadlifts. And when I was coming up, like I was doing them, I was fine or whatever. Like I know my form, I know form. When you have a good form, you're not gonna like feel the pain in the place where I felt the pain. When I was coming up, I was like, oh shoot. I felt like I was using my back instead of my actual like hamstrings and quads, like my lower body. And I was sore from like my lower back. And I was like, this is not good. So make sure you are doing your form right, especially when doing heavy, heavy weights. So please, please, please make sure that you ha either have someone, um, especially if you're like first trying out sumo deadlifts, please do not hurt yourself. You gotta work on your form. You gotta really like search how to do form and um, do them correctly. So you don't injure yourself and cause a huge, you know, thing. Anyways, so yeah, that's that's the plan, the plan of attack for this evening. We have pre-workout, so I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, I'm not taking pre-workout, because you know what happens whenever I take pre-workout around this time of day, like it's 7.35 right now. When I take pre-workout around this time of the evening, late evening, that I cannot sleep. That thing just keeps lingering in my system and I cannot sleep. I am sleeping till like 4 a.m. in the morning and then I have to wake up at 8 a.m. in the morning to, you know, anyways, it's a big mess. So I don't think I'll be taking any pre-workout because I want to sleep tonight. <laughs> well, yeah, just I'm wearing Gymshark as always. And I bought some stuff from the Gymshark sale that is still going on right now. So hop your little booty onto Gymshark.com up to 50% off discounts. And I have some pieces that are coming in that I just ordered. So I'm excited for that. And yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm wearing wearing my gym shark this is actually one that i bought leggings for como <laughs> Clearly, I am still in my periods, which is why I'm wearing shorts again. He forgot his keys. And now I'm having to wait in the car, but that's okay. I'm here with you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna be working out. And guess what? I forgot my workout schedule plan my list but i can always go back to this video and be like oh okay this is what this was ah! are you guys morning workout people or do you like evening workouts let me know comment down below and let me know because i try to wake up early in the morning and just sometimes it just it, it's not happening especially this morning I literally could have, I could have slept another hour, but I had to go to work and my back was literally hurting. I think like the whole entire night, I just couldn't sleep. 
I woke up like at 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, so. So since I have a little bit of time to kill while I wait for my boyfriend to come back, um, early this morning, something scary happened to me. I'm so, I was so scared, dude. Okay, so I was coming out of my apartment Okay, so I was coming out of my apartment and this guy comes out at the same time that I come out, but I've never seen this guy before. So of course I'm like, he doesn't say anything. He's just kind of like sitting there. There's people walking around, like lock the doors. Um, <laughs> always, every time I get inside, especially in the parking garage, every time, anywhere I go, every time I have to get inside my car, I literally close the door and push the lock button because you never know shoot i don't carry a weapon or anything so i need to <laughs> but anyways yeah this guy was being a little weird i mean he wasn't saying anything but anyways so we get inside the elevator mind you my apartments are having like this freaking issue about the elevators uh only one elevator works so we literally have to be in the elevator i'm already late as it is so i'm like in the elevator and we having to stop several floors because this is the only elevator that works right and sorry, I'm having to look back because I'm trying to see if he's coming. Anyways, so yeah, so we're in the elevator and I push my button since I got it first. I push the button, the floor that I that I needed to go to. And he's like, oh yeah, that's my floor too. I'm like, okay, okay. And then, uh, and I was like, budge. So, you know, people are coming in and I'm like hoping someone is heading the same direction that I am. Like, hopefully more than one person. But this guy gets out exactly the same floor that I get out of. And I'm walking to my car and I can see him. I can just feel him behind me. And I'm like, oh God, is this going to be it? Is this going to be it? Is this going to be my kidnapping story? So I'm like walking and I'm so thankful like that another car pulls up like like wanting to get into my parking lot like waiting for me to get out and i was like oh thank you jesus we have a witness we have somebody here to watch of you know watch what's going on because i literally was getting out of the elevator by myself with this other guy behind me and nobody was getting out besides the two of us and uh yeah that happened and <laughs> And I felt so bad. I felt so horrible because then I noticed that he actually, his car was literally parked next to my car. And he, you know, I could see the lights going on and I'm like, oh, I guess you do live here. <laughs> it's just like Bonquiqui, what she said in one of her videos. Um, she was like, oh, if I see a creepy ass dude, I'll be like, oh, he's gonna snatch me. Or he's gonna, what did she say? Or he's gonna like, he's gonna kidnap me. Oh, <laughs> it is so funny. That's how, that literally was my scenario early this morning. So anyways, I thought that I'd just tell you a little story and there he is. Ya llegamos, nena. Ay, ay, ay. Vámonos a fiesta, mira las penas. Ponte tu bikini que ya la arena. Te está picando el ojo pa' que sin pena lo bailes a tu manera. El sol combina perfecto con tu piel. Tus caderas y las olas se llevan bien. El viento rozando tu pelo y un aguacero te dice lo bien que te ve. Estás soltera, lo que te pones te queda bien. Dime qué esperas, tómate un trago, olvídate de él. Estás soltera, lo 
nos conocemos Pero juntitos bien nos vemos Mamita dale tiempo al tiempo Que esta noche no somos ajenos Yo sé que no nos conocemos Pero juntitos bien nos vemos Mamita dale tiempo al tiempo Que esta noche no somos ajenos Esta soltera Lo que te pones te queda bien Dime que <sighs> I feel like I don't get enough sleep, but um, thank you guys for watching this little small little vlog and me going to the gym today, working back and laps. It was fun. It was late. It is late. And now it is time to go to sleep. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys on the next vlog so good night and peace out like and follow for more